I assume the lobster has no idea what it tastes like, or the onion. I'm in the same situation. I don't know how my paintings affect people. It may be impossible for me to evaluate my own work, but I'm going to do just that at the risk of lacking perspective. I believe I've been able to create some remarkable work in my 60 years of painting. I know it's easy to delude oneself, but artists tend to do that. It's a necessary part of the practice of making art. I'm going to show you some of my best paintings. You'll judge for yourself, realizing that the video image will be lacking some prime factors. Scale, texture, true color, and presence. Here are some highlights from each of the decades. My first paintings were Renaissance influence. A bit later, two paintings here from 1954 show the influence of Reginald Marsh, my mentor's work. In 1956, I made a three-month trip to Europe and it opened me up to other art possibilities. I discovered modern painting. In the 50s and 60s, I experimented more, trying to find my voice. While I may have made preliminary studies for paintings, the improvisational approach toward expression gave me the framework that I continue to use in developing my work. The discovery an influence of jazz gave me more freedom to alter elements and become more abstract in my representation of real-life subjects. I rarely painted directly from life. My jazz paintings were my first breakthrough. I was able to transform, invent, create new forms. In the 70s, when we moved to Delaware with a teaching position at the university, I seem to have turned inward. I no longer had the visual stimulation of New York City. I was in a new space, suburbia, and fantasy appeared in my work. My paintings during this period, in retrospect, seem strange. Symbols emerged. Paint was applied thinly. Color started to become important. Strong color and tone were used to evoke a mood and feelings. The 80s was my most significant era. I found my voice, my vision. I began working on paper making monoprints. I also started using oil paint sticks. Both of these media helped me to explode as an artist with color and gesture. My body became an important element in my work and my imagination, invention, and creativity blossomed. My work, for the first time, found a larger audience. I had caught up with modernism. Then, for some reason in the 90s, I can't explain why, my paintings became more somber, my palette changed, less color, less movement, almost as though I was reconnecting with some of my work of the 60s and before. There are some powerful images here, and in retrospect, they seem to be about pain and sadness. It was not until the new century that I began to emerge from this period, and it was with many false starts. I lost my footing, and I found myself trying this and that, hoping to locate myself. I believe I have. Creating a painting, an image that will contain the potential for meaning, is what painting is about something more than entertainment or good design, though those aspects are fine but not of great interest to me. The kind of quality and energy that I can create in an image is very important, something that will remind me not only of my humanity, but be a source of energy for myself and others. When I look at a great painting, listen to fine music, read literature, or attend a rich play, my life has opened up, and I'm re-energized. I'm put in touch with what creativity can be, and the possibilities of realizing what remarkable life experiences people can have. My paintings may not be easy to relate to. They require the viewer to meet the work part way, away from their safety zone. 
I realize others may be quite right in bypassing my work. As I said at the beginning, there's no way to guarantee that I'm correct in my evaluation. Everyone has different needs. Personal credit is not an issue. I'm as rewarded as I need to be, even more. I want to leave the best of me because it also may represent the best in all of us. Neither my studio, my status, or myself will serve to impress you with the quality of my paintings. The images will have to serve on their own and make their way in the world without other benefits or advantages. I look back on my work and wonder what part I had in bringing it into the world and hope my images may serve to enrich your lives.